Yes, I've been reading a lot of light novels, by the way. Do I get out of this in a good amount of time? So I'm going to be doing two streams within the next, not within 12 hours, but after about 24 hours from now. Just know, because this is probably happening in place of a stream. Why am I going to events, by the way? Timestamps are also available, just in case I need it, which I probably will. Because last I remember, we were doing Koji Ill-Fated, so... We will therefore move on into Mimi ill-fated question mark. I know we unlocked someone else, but we we should just do this. Although we will loop back because we have not unlocked the other one yet. And after again, after about seven or eight successful runs, because obviously some of them are locked by number of achievements and number of runs succeeded, then yeah, so we'll We'll just loop back to Kathak. <laughs> so as we get into Kathak World of Horror character exclusive Mimi, let's not forget the other core of this, which is to go over the characters in a kind of sit down and review way, but not really. Mimi starts with a weapon, that's good enough, but with seven knowledge, even on Harbinger, you can still prep attack, prep attack with a scalpel, which is also very, very good. Now, on certain gods, that's not as good, but as we get second mystery, strength, charisma, second en encounter, oh my goodness, light, and dexterity, and I can speak to a good ability. We don't have knowledge, but this is more than good enough, and let's set things. I have not set a thing yet, that's right, but this is pretty much near, I mean, if you want to be safe, you can just go police station, occult shop, or police station, vending machine. As always, prepare and rest. Library schoolyard should be default. I have to set these because I did a thing or I tried to load nothing and it turned off everything. But I don't have these two yet. One of them is easy to get. The other one, I think, is dependent on basically progression. And from what I hear, the console version is uh, relatively okay now. There's still a save breaking bug from what I hear, but it's not. You can, con you can avoid it, basically. You have control over most, if not all of it. But... Let's let's play it safe. I don't know. I don't know about the Switch version, but the PS version, you can try to make a cloud save or USB save. I mean, I've seen all manner of things to try and save save data for this game. But as we get Coma, Mermaids, Hell, Ward, and Sailors, I don't have the thing to avoid Ward pain. So I guess we're just headed into war. We have a lot of hospital investigations. We also have a lot of downtown investigations. Something to note for the police station, which I'll be using in a moment. If I ran over it briefly, let's go into it now, because it is important. Sailors is a mostly mansion seaside, and then Hell is a lot of mansion. So, downtown, even without moving into the town screen, I know I'm going to be visiting the hospital a lot, I know I'm going to be visiting downtown, and I know I'm going to be visiting the mansion quite a, a, an abundant amount as well. I almost took mermaids on accident. What I actually want to do is do Household Hell, because if you get the town effect roads closed, your doom shoots up through the roof. But first, on Harbinger, we check our threat levels. Max threat level downtown. Hospitals are low, forest is nothing. Village is high, mansion is nothing, and seaside is max. But because, well, if it saves doom, you should be switching in between locations. I usually am a set it and forget it kind of person. So, with that said, we will set it to police station at least once, but handcuffs is a pretty good reason as well, and that's all we can really do. With 6 Charisma, I don't foresee myself getting many students, and the chance of increasing my strength or knowledge isn't very high. I mean, well, 2 out of 5 is good enough, but should I? I mean, I have a weapon and I have the Doom. The other thing I'm thinking about is that with this Doom, normally for characters like Koji, Kirie, Dependent, Mizuki, you want to be buying a weapon, and that usually costs Doom on Harbinger. But, if you have a weapon, then all that Doom that you would spend buying a weapon, you can spend elsewhere, like escaping from one or two enemies, visiting the schoolyard, visiting the library, going to the vending machine and trying to pick up a brick, going to the tree and grabbing some extra you know, spells or funds for curses, or maybe you want to do an occult shop tainted violin play for battle speed. There's a whole host of things you can do. I'm going to personally take the escape route. So the doom that I would spend buying a weapon with other characters, I will spend 
running away. I had to focus for a moment because I didn't know if I wanted to try to get a steak knife, but that event is particularly nice. And I think we're still outnumbered event-wise in terms of pain as I roll an 11 on strength. What I mean by that is that there are more events that hurt you, almost guaranteed, compared to events that you have the choice and once you learn enough of Shiokawa, or in the meta term, the game, you can say pick this middle option here and always decrease Doom by 3. But at the same time, there are events in the mansion that just lower your reason by two. And if the threat level is high to max, you lose three reasons. So it's it's a trade-off. Yes, decreasing doom is, still outweighs it a bit. But when you need a lot of reason, that kind of changes. Now, with five strength, we can also guarantee a kick. If nothing else, you learned this video. With five strength, you can do brace, two attack boosts, and a kick that will normally usually get you an 100% kick. Now, sometimes you can't do it. Say if you're playing Haru on with Nicotine Withdrawal, you obviously cannot do that because you're slower. But in cases like this, it provides a very specific threshold, especially with the animated head on your first mystery. After the first mystery, it'd have 11, 12, 14, 16 HP. Therefore, I wouldn't be able to do it. But the trade-off is that I'm theoretically going to level up, become more powerful, even just a little bit, and it wouldn't matter as much, so... Speaking about the balance of the game, anyway. Now that being said, getting out of this... In Household Hell, I often am stuck in this mystery for more than... Well, for pretty much eight mansion investigations, which can include two encounters. But thankfully, thankfully doing Harbinger Horror, it's not as bad. I would heal stamina here. I think I'm just gonna take the extra experience instead, and let's get into... Probably Warden Mermaids. Again, I like to get rid of all my boss mysteries. I personally like to take Sailor's last. But there are things you can do, like if you want to throw two items away and get a... and possibly get a weapon, you can. I probably will, because I have two relatively useless items at the moment. But let's take Ward now while we're sitting here. What was my town effect again? School curfew? Okay, that does... well, I did lose the library, but it ultimately does nothing. Because I wasn't planning to visit the library. Now... While I autopilot through this, I can't explain the library's use. It is a... I think it costs less Doom to grab a spell there, and then you can grab experience when needed. Oh, well, now we're definitely going to autopilot. So, first, yeah, the library, it does have its use. It's not the best because it's completely random, unlike a certain other sublocation. You cannot see what spell you're going to get. But it does cost less Doom, and if you're in a pinch while you're progressing through the game, you can try to grab a random spell, and there is, is a... Not a good chance, but there's an, uh, there is a chance of getting a spell that might help you out. Now, will it solve the situation you're in? No, but if you need to take a big gamble, because otherwise you die anyway, running a consistent strat, or otherwise, then you might as well take that gamble, and again, like I said, visit the library, maybe you get Book of Gore, maybe you get... Ghostly Spear or Mind Drain. Maybe you get some... Well, Ghostly Spear you have to unlock, but you get the point. You get a spell that you can use to help you out. Maybe a Doom Decreasing spell because you have so much stamina. So on and so forth. Anything to help you out because even Doom... Because everything is, in a sense, in World of Horror, you're trying to trade your HP here and there. So if one falls low, you're looking for ways to spend your other resources. Either not taking the damage you want to take or recovering HP, whether that's stamina and or reason for doom, or doom for stamina and or reason, or stamina for reason or reason for stamina, in the case that you're in events that either hurt your stamina or hurt your reason. It's one of the two, and obviously if you're dying to reason, you would rather trade stamina that you have, even if you're going to go to 1-1 one, one stamina reason, it's better than outright losing immediately. Kind of the strategy you think about in World of Horror, at least to me. But as we sit here and do the dullness, as I also crack a joint in my body, I don't know if you heard that, but... Yeah, we're gonna do this. This is another thing, dullness. The dullness is blind, so this is not a bug. Now, what might be in... What some might consider an exploit is that the fact that you can do this infinitely, but... If it were that important, it would be patched already. It might still be in the future, but... It's something that I consider balanced because, as I show you in a hot moment, and I fail a 10 on luck check. 
Your storage does have a limit to it, and in fact, it might not be bugged anymore, but a, a long time ago. Oh, as that package is going to disappear to the Aether, by the way. But, I actually do want the handcuffs first. I think I still get to one-shot this, but, yeah, as I said, so you have like 11 slots, 6, 8, 10, yeah, 11 slots in the storage, and that may include items that you already want. So, realistically speaking, while this is very, very good for you, the player... It's not an infinite, which usually are fixed much quicker in the exp in the history of World of War than other things. I am going... This is a low threat level location, right? But I won't be... Well, I have coma, never mind. So we're actually gonna let her sleep. But in the history of World of War, usually things like that, but actual game-breaking bugs and... Uh, and infinites are patched out earlier. Now, some people who are playing who were playing the console version on release might say, well, Jordan, saves weren't fixed for a long time. Trust me, saves being fixed at in the time that it took for them to be fixed, on top of all the trouble that anyone involved had to go through, because obviously there's a different process for consoles uh, as opposed to PC, where usually on storefronts or PC, you can just patch it. On consoles, it's a different beast, so... I mean, that's not a big excuse, but it is a reason. There is, I mean, when there's a gate in the way, you have to think of a way to get past the gate before applying the caravan that is the patch of changes. Yes, I've been reading a lot of light novels, by the way. Do I get out of this in a good amount of time? This does allow me to desperate the boss. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. The real question is if I get to grab more damage to throw, but that's something else. Also, instead I could also brace and do this again. But is that going to be for the best? Let's find out. Because if I go below 3 stamina after the boss of Ward, I will not like this. Also, this is Ward. Welcome to Ward, by the way, for those who are new to both this series and or this game, because I have not done Ward in the series yet. A lot of hospital downtown investigations, and it is possible to do ending A. It just might take a lot of damage off of your face. So, did I actually rest on accident? I, It feels like I did, but... Oh, I did have the curious package. Never mind. Well, that's just going to stay there then. And it's the last night you have to spend with them. I think it's eight investigations, but I forgot the exact distribution. I mean, you watching the video, or those who know, could probably tell, but... As I get into this, so, yeah, we did rest on accident, otherwise my stamina would not be this high. But otherwise we get 8 damage, so 19, yeah, we can perfectly do handcuff tech, I'll show it to you again. But ending A is defeating the boss here. Not doing ending A is selecting this action, which ends the fight immediately, but it's not ending A. So, I if I can do it with relative ease here, I might as well. So, we'll do handcuff tech. And get out, we patch ourselves up. Nice Mimi perk. And yeah, that's, well, it should be, it should say ending A, but it is ending A. We get a Blood Moon, but with the Scalpel, we're always usually doing prep attack, prep attack. That doesn't affect our kick accuracy either, so it ultimately nearly doesn't affect us. But if I need to do some brace plays, then it, it does affect us. But meanwhile, we'll head into Mermaids. We may or may not fight this. It really depends, although even throwing 12 damage, that's how much damage I'm doing with all four broken bottles. Throwing at an, uh, throwing all four broken bottles at an enemy. That's how much damage I'm doing. Throwing 12 damage at the boss of mermaids here is not really enough. Nice ring. For funds? F-O-R for funds. Selling it for funds. Otherwise, I mean, I should just equip it regardless. There's no reason not to. I think it gives two or well, one charisma, but it's better than oh, I used it on accident. Never mind. I let me correct myself. I did nothing with it. I actually might have wanted to pick that up. Then I could try to recruit up to three. Now I could trade experience to grab the schoolgirls or try to intimidate them, but it it doesn't often go well. I could fight this. In fact, this gets me Miku. If I can, no, I don't have the thing. So never mind. I can't do this. I could still fight Miku here, but. We have 37% Doom after- well, never mind, we're on Kathak. That's right, I have to fight this. Never mind, never mind. 
I do get out in two turns for only one minus one all, because we throw all four of these. We brace. Okay, so we really did need the Dull Nurse, by the way. Because otherwise we'd be in a lot of pain. But more importantly, we we don't take a lot of damage here. That's the takeaway from this. Now, for the boss of mermaids, some people might be asking, well, you're on Kathak, why can you run from boss encounters? Trust me. Well, from a gameplay standpoint, sure. It's, it's, you need to, trust me. It's a very nice thing to have. But lore-wise, maybe you're right. Maybe we shouldn't be running away. Although, now that I remember that I'm Kathak, I'm gonna rest once. But, yeah, maybe you're right. But we'll see. Do I want to enter this? What am I gonna do next? Coma, right? So we can just enter this. And yeah, we're going to trade. I was supposed to trade reason for stamina, but instead I lost three stamina and gained zero reason because I'm topped off. So yeah, what we're immediately going to do is just burn the school down in the game because that's pain. So we get an achievement for doing that, I believe. But more importantly, we get to survive the run because four stamina in that boss fight, that's not going to happen. I could take Fast Learner for Giggles, that might get me an extra level up, but normally not. And let's get rid of these burns really quickly, because that's not going to go well. So, we'll do a twofer. We'll take care of these burns while grabbing painkillers. Now, Hasty Aid is not something I or anyone wants to see, but if you have to take it, you have to take it. You know what, let's just go for... Never mind, we burned out the school. I completely forget... That's how little I use the schoolyard, by the way. So, it's not so bad. We're on our fourth mystery with 43% Doom. Again, it's not really that bad, but if I could not waste Doom, I would have liked to not waste Doom. So, yeah. What I could do is visit the tree once or twice and then grab a pack of cigarettes, but as I decide to walk here and not roll on RNG at all, I think I'm going to wait until... Well, I'm on Kathak. We also now have a bite, which I guess I might as well get rid of. So, two doom, please give me something good. Don't give me another hasty aid. That's a really bad trade, by the way. If you if that bite turns into hasty aid, you have you're pretty much flipping a coin and saying, one, am I going to get an injury, and two, is that injury going to turn into something not as bad like tiny cuts, where tiny cuts doesn't do anything as far as I know right now. We can also successfully mind wipe ourselves. We're topped off on reason. But if it turns into badly bleeding or cut artery, you you have a problem on your hands. And I can't run away from this, so am I actually just dead here, by the way? Hmm. Well, we're definitely taking four stamina damage. You don't want to brace in this encounter because of the cornered animal trait, which doubles its damage. So, what do I actually do here? Because this is not an acceptable alternative. So this is a very, very specific thing that can happen to you at times, but if an enemy's damage is so high that you can't get into range with to do Desperate Struggle, which is where this action is, you're kind of in a conundrum where you cannot defeat the encounter and you either have to take a risk or find a way to leverage things. In this case, it would be to brace to take four stamina damage and then trade two reason for stamina. That way I barely survive. I'll throw out a kick just to do so. I could also do anything else, but... I could also send an ally and try to do other plays, but that's not gonna go well. So I'm going to, going to instead do that. And then Desperate Prep Strong. And again, that's a very, very specific threshold. And a very specific situation to be in, but it, in Har on Harbinger it can happen, as you just saw. Now, is it likely to happen? Probably not, but... We're going to use the tree instead twice to heal stamina, because otherwise that's a lot of doom for resting as I get branded and traumatized. But it, I'm Mimi, so the reason isn't bad. It's the branded I'm worried about. And we're going to lose three more reason here, because fighting this boss here will require more than what I have. But I promise you, when the time comes, I'll fight the boss, if I see the moment. Now that being said... I did forget my second encounter, first of all. What did I do first? I did Household Hell and I fought the animated head first. What did I do after that? I went into Ward and went into Dull Nurse. I think that's what I want to say. 
Now, I could die- for all intents and purposes, I should rest here, which I'm going to do, I guess. I don't think I've fed it fumes, right? I have everything... Yeah, I basically have a very nice town effect run, where none of my town effects are really that harmful. So, I can profit off of everything. Now, would I like these funds? Sure, but instead we're just going to increase Doom some more. Or decrease it if we pass, but... I always assume I fail. I should also just do this immediately. Because the torch is a light source, if you get it, and we are on timeline B. That's how you know you're on timeline B for mermaids, though, aside from other ways to tell. You only get the torch if you do the side quest on timeline B. Now, because this is at a high threat level, I'm not going to pick the right option. Normally, that would heal you. But if the threat level is higher at max, especially for those watching Event of the Day, you know, then, yeah, you don't actually heal anything. Especially if it's only one... Stamina or one reason that's being healed, you, you get nothing, so... Yeah, burning the Grimoire there, I'm gonna do that, even though it doesn't top... It doesn't give me more stamina, it, we just want the healing. Oh, so here I should've switched to Seaside, I'm gonna still do it here. What I could do is also... Uh, nah, no. Nah. I was going to trade experience for a pack of cigarettes, essentially. I really actually it's a, should still do that, but... We'll see. Well, we got bitten again. That's not really going to affect me, so I'm going to let it stay, unless it immediately fest uh, gets infested, but we should still be fine. And let's try not to fight this thing, because like Koma, fighting this boss is not usually viable. If not, almost always. I mean, you can prepare for it, so I'm not going to say almost always, but it's not a great decision. I, I, I promise you, it's normally not a smart decision on Harbinger. You can survive, it's just you're gonna be either- you're, you're like- if, if if you don't end up losing the run, you're gonna eat a lot of damage. That I promise you, in most cases. So second sec, we did ward, doll nurse I wanna say. We only- we can put eight into strength, but do we need the thing? No, because we have a light source and we do other stuff. We have- we're gonna take reason damage and... do we have the other one? No we don't, so... We're perfectly fine. That's all you need to know. In fact, I can even do this a few times. We're branded, but who cares? And let's just take something. It doesn't really matter. We did ward second, unless I'm misremembering, but I wasn't. We have the strength, so we pass. We don't have a knowledge check, but that's fine. We lose the charisma one. We're barely off by one, but again, it ultimately doesn't matter. And Doll Nurse was second, so we're perfectly fine. And with that, we complete, I think, our eighth run of this one. If nothing else, maybe we get something else, but I didn't see anything, so... We'll do a quick check, and after that, then I should really be focusing on what I can and cannot do. But I'll let you know when the when it happens. So, we got the track suit for winning with Mimi. Let me do a quick check here, because I do have a something for comparison. We burned down the school building, that's just another outfit as well. And then we have one more that we unlocked, I think. If I can even find it. Oh, right over here. And then we unlocked all, everything, because we want our sixth playthrough. Did I say six? Did I say seventh? I meant sixth. So, without further ado, now we're working with a full deck. Like, almost literally and figuratively. So, without further ado... That'll be the Harbinger Horror episode of today, and I will see you probably in another week, because that's just how fast this series is going, and nothing else to say. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to support me long-term or short-term. Memberships are open, and I'll see you later. Bye!